Honestly, wow. if we just go back to the beginning, how we were created, male and female, Adam and Eve created mm. together to take dominion. That's where it all should go back to. Yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like, and, and he, what did, and even think about Jesus, what did he do? He, he elevated yes. the marginal. He elevated what the enemy had tried to bring down. Right, he elevated right. the picture of what it meant to be so partners. Good. And so, so I feel good. like sometimes people uh, read the words and of Jesus through you know, Paul's eyes, and I'm saying to do it differently, read what Paul wrote through the eyes of Jesus. When people hear that word submission, uh -huh. immediately in the, put in the definition, you know, married Christian woman. Yes. It's like, okay, that's just like so far from the reality of right. what submission. I mean, even yesterday we talked about that as Christ's followers, we're submitting to God and his plan for our life. So yeah. yielding to God, yielding is actually the Christian way, right? right? right. Yielding right. to God's plan. Yeah. It's not just the, the married woman thing. It irritates the snot out of me when that's <laughs> what it, how we it's take so it. Bad. It's just like, all, and especially in the culture in which we live in. So I feel like that it's been so misconstrued and misunderstood yeah. and and scriptures taken out of context. And it, Why so, submit? Yeah, yes. uh, yeah. So let me talk about that scripture just for a moment. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, Ephesians 5, which is where, oh, right, that, hated scripture, but that, that, that comes from. That portion, that portion of scripture is actually, I'll give you a little lesson, is actually called the house codes. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, the house codes, and starting in uh, uh, 521, Ephesians 521, it goes through the beginning of chapter 6, and it's the house codes, and these were not Christian, they were actually Hellenistic, they were Roman, and, right. and to a certain degree Jewish. This was how society was set up, this is the order for society. And so when Paul is taking that and putting it in these letters, he, it's, a, it's a, a very different thing, and what Paul does is remix the whole thing. Right. Mm -hmm. And so how Paul talked about it in Ephesians 5 was uh, very different than how it was because uh, rather than, for example, the wife uh, sacrificing herself for the husband, which is what Paul's audience expected because that was the traditional yeah. way this was written, um, he remixed it and he admonished the husband to love her yeah. and sacrifice mm. yourself for her. Mm. And so that would have freaked them all out because <laughs> wow. that was not the culture. But Paul went, no, we're doing it. He puts the pressure on the man to actually, who was like the, they called it like the potter familia. So the, the head of the household in that culture, he put the pressure on them. No, you die for her. Yeah. Exactly. You love her. And that would have shocked them because nowhere in that culture was a man expected to love his wife. In fact, she was just property. Yeah. And he could get rid of her wow. if she did. If she was barren, he could divorce her. Like they were just chattel property. And so Paul went, nope, you sacrifice yourself for her. Uh -huh. You love her. In fact, the way that Christ loved the church, meaning you know, he gave himself up for her. Yeah. So the pressure, we always think, oh, you know, it's about the submission. No, it, the pressure on that whole portion is actually on yeah. him to be a servant and not the ruler. To, wow. I love that you said that because, you know, yeah. with Nick, that's what um, I, I remember even when we first, because, I, you know, I didn't marry till I was 30 because I was like, what do you mean submit? Right. I'm like, you know, I'll submit to God. And, um, you know, but I, I remember it was like when it was to the degree that you will love me as Christ loves the church. And I say that to Nick all the time. Man, you got the bad end of this stick. <laughs> you got to die for me. So <laughs> while you're doing that, I'm happy to submit. Right, right, all right, this right, is going right. to work right. fantastic. <laughs> and pretty much that is like the <laughs> deal. And I, 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 you know, Holly, you and I, all of us here have been in pastoral care and ministry for so long. And it breaks my heart. I, I'm in my late 50s, you know, mid to late 50s now. And so we've watched this evolve, yeah. of, you know, yeah. um, and I just think of how this has been so misused yeah. against women. Mm -hmm. um, some women, especially in the 80s and 90s yeah. when we were all like, would be forced or, or sort of guilt tripped, shamed yep. into staying right. where, yep. where there was domestic violence happening and right. yeah. people. And you're like, are you, I'm yep. hoping if any woman is watching this, yep. we are not talking about any, no. we're like, no, get no. out and get somewhere safe. Yes. It's the first thing that we Absolutely. would always say. And um, I'm grateful. I certainly grew up in a church culture that, that never, it was always like you safety first and you never use a scripture like this yep. to lord it over someone, to right. manipulate someone. But I, I have seen it in the Christian world how, and which is why some people broke out in hives as soon as they hear the word wives <laughs> and submit right. and that scripture. Yes. Right. Because when I think 
in terms of how it's been used abusively for sex, for violence, if, you know, under yeah, the guise of true. God, yeah. and this has been weaponized. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I understand why some people are freaking out. And again, I've yeah. got daughters, so we have to talk about this really openly yeah. um, because you're going, okay, that still, it doesn't change that God had a plan, but it's under the overarching plan mm -hmm. of what you, I think what yeah. you're saying, yielding. And I think if we start, even starting this conversation, because we're, we're all married here, and I know there are people watching this that aren't married. There are yeah. people watching this that have gone through horrific marriages yeah. where their mm -hmm. husband would have beat them over the head with right. this kind of scripture. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we want to set those people free. I yes. mean, like with 100%. But I think that... And, in my 26 years of marriage, the, um, the amount of times Nick and I have constantly, I'm like, you got this hard deal, so <laughs> you do this thing. Yeah, and true. I think it would be really helpful even in church life mm -hmm. if we talked as much about that than wives submit to your yeah. husband. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we talked as much about, and That's husbands true. love your wives. Yeah. So Three we times need, you said, love your wife. Lo yeah. love your and wife. as Christ love loves the wife. church. I'm yeah. like, uh, you're that means on the cross, which is what yeah. I said. And I go, God never told me to get on the cross for you, so knock yourself out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Portion scripture yes, starts totally. with submit to one another. So the whole that's thing starts thing. with submit to one another. Totally. And so as, but mm. that's the Christian way of doing mm. things. So mm. when we first got married, I was on a television show. I was an actress. So, and just in the church and a part of it and helping make it happen yeah. and yeah. all of that. And then my desire changed. So I kind of walked away from the acting thing and, and started getting more in church. And then the next thing I know, I'm, my, it's like, like my, and I get this word, I hate you, the platform influence is growing more than my husband's at that point. Yeah. Right? So then it started. And so he, but he was never threatened by that. He was like, you go, girl. He was so <laughs> ahead of his time. Even yeah. more, yeah. you're older than me. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Philip. That, that was unheard of. It was. Right. Like, truly. Like, you go, girl. Yeah. And you He's never teaching. flinched in the, in all no. the time I've known no. him. No. He, and we, um, had this marriage counselor who's awesome. She, it's interesting. She said to me, she looked at me and she goes, I'm not, it's not you I'm committed to. And Philip, it's not you I'm committed to. I'm committed to your marriage. Beautiful. Because wow. your marriage wow. is my client. Oh my God. That's so helpful. That's really beautiful. helpful. Dang. And so, <laughs> that's really yeah. good. And so then that's... she would say things. And so what she said, knowing how different we were and how, uh, you know, just like wrestling through the submitting to one another yeah. concept. She said, let me put it a different way for you then. I went, please. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Help my sister out. <laughs> She, she said, I want you to see each other. You are each other's discernment partners. Wow. So, Holly, when Philip says we need to slow down and think about something, inside you're saying, no, we don't. <laughs> and she was right. She goes, yes, you do. Hmm. And Philip, when she says you need to make a decision now or there'll be consequences, <laughs> you're saying, no, we don't. Yes, you do. Mm. So this is where you're, that's, that's good. the submitting wow. to one that another actually, part, yes. wow. seeing each other as discernment, seeing each other as Holy Spirit discernment partners. And uh, that isn't always easy to work out. Yeah. I mean, I, the theory yeah. of that is beautiful. But. And I have to talk to <laughs> Jesus about it, but there's a part of me that, you know, that would go, no, yes. I don't want what you just said. But honestly, that's how I am sometimes with the Holy Spirit. It's like resisting. Totally, right. totally. Yes. Right. No, because I know what the cost of that's going to be or yes, whatever. Sure. So, but that has been our kind of the dance Beautiful. that that's we've had to navigate. Yes. Has submission yes. ever been like not balanced in marriage? Because I'm it, in mine or just in general. I, let's let's well, say well, yours. Well, well, I probably I don't think so. Um, because I'm, I'm not, uh, like, you know, when you gave that picture of the, to the Christian, mm -hmm. she's a good submitted woman. Well, I've never been. <laughs> 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 I've never heard that picture. No, no that hasn't so been a struggle. No. Been <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think that's a wrong picture. Yeah. Mm. Like when I look at even Bible women uh -huh. from, from well, Deborah Jaya, and Jaya, Priscilla and Gael, and yeah. it's oh, just yeah. like, Ooh. they were not, like, so that picture that people Christian have movie. is not real. Right. It's, it's, wrong. It's, it's like a wrong picture. Yeah. Yeah. Like she, she's, and, and honestly, wow. if we just go back to the beginning, how we were created, male and female, Adam and Eve created mm. together to take dominion. That's where it all should go back to. Yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like, and, and he, what did, and even think about Jesus, what did he do? He, he elevated yes. the marginal. He elevated what the enemy had tried to bring down. Right. He elevated the picture of what it meant to be so partners. Good. And so, so I feel good. like sometimes people uh, read the words and of Jesus through, you know, Paul's eyes, and I'm saying to do it differently, read what Paul wrote through the eyes of Jesus. 
marriage relationship is obviously an incredibly intimate one. And the two becoming one, the interesting thing about that is that two becoming one, it's, you don't lose your individuality. It's two, it's two chords, you know, being strung together that makes it stronger. You know, I didn't disappear when I married Philip and he didn't disappear, we're just stronger. And sometimes my strengths can irritate him <laughs> and his strengths can irritate me. And so what we've made the decision to see is that we are each other's um, discernment partners because I can only see what I can see. I can't see behind me. I have blind spots. We all have blind spots. And so, but Philip can see my blind spots and I can see his. And so we, ha we have slowly but surely, and it wasn't always easy, but gotten to a place where we, we can can communicate this in an honoring way where we can be each other's discernment. So where Philip can say to me, Holly, um, I'm not, I'm wondering if this is the right de decision for you to be making. Now, before I used to just go, oh, I can't believe you're trying, but now I go, okay, well, I'm gonna pray about that. And so I've done the same for him. I go, Philip, I, and I'll say, you know, I just would like you to pray about that friendship because I'm just, I'm just wondering about that. And so it's not me trying to control him. It's not him trying to control me. It's just me seeing something that maybe he can't see and he's seeing something that I can't see. And we bring it to each other. And then I'm an ind my own person. So I get to make whatever decision I'm gonna make, but I will be doing it discounting his discernment. And so that's where I don't really wanna do that, make any big decisions that there's not some sort of agreement on. So that's where we kind of have done this dance of being each other's discernment partners. It's not always easy but I think it makes us stronger. I love what you said, even that the marriage was the best when you remained powerful. Mm -hmm. It kind of speaks to the whole yeah. picture. Like, yeah. I think a lot of people that struggle with submission, it's like you're trying to recreate a picture that you hate. Yes. Exactly. Yes. You don't like that well marriage. Said, right? yeah. Like, you don't think that woman that's really docile and bless the Lord and all that, yeah, exactly. you don't think that she has personality. Yeah. Yeah, totally. You don't like that person. You don't like that. And so you're that's trying right. mm -hmm. to recreate this thing and your body's like, I don't want to. And it's like, what if that's the wrong picture? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, what if that's the, and I, I think for me, I, there's been so much growth because first it's that whole submissive, like, yes, what do you want? Okay, dinner. Okay, cool. I'm going to yeah. have dinner. I'll be tired, but I am going to have dinner ready for you every <laughs> single night. And I'm going to clean up the house. I mean, I was that person. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm going <laughs> to have you discover daughter? makeup. <laughs> and Who are you? Well, listen, that was <laughs> like my oh. That's what I thought okay. that marriage okay. was. Yeah. That, like, okay. And also my context, my husband was the pastor. Yeah. Right. So That's there's right. all these different oh, yeah. dimes. Sam, yeah. it was, I was messed up. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, therapist. You, you were set up. I too. set yeah. up yeah. for yeah. sure. Yes. And so then, until my husband was like, you seem stressed out. And I was like, well, I'm trying to be a submitted wife. <laughs> what do you know? All the stuff I have to do? Of course I'm stressed. Right. You're a little high strung. Stephen Roddy Chandler. <laughs> yes, because of them trying to, he was like, I'd rather the house be messy. Totally. And you and I just connect. Yeah. And you and I just relax. I'd rather you order DoorDash. And yes. I said, first of all, say right. less. Yeah. <laughs> so I okay. stopped cooking. <laughs> This is gonna free somebody. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, and I just started relaxing, and then I started also having an opinion. Yeah. Sometimes I would feel like there's something that God would call me to say about this certain situation, but being a submitted wife meant that I had to be silent. I'm supposed to win him over by my side. Like all these different mm. scriptures wrong that pictures. we don't, yeah. wrong pictures. And it's like, no, speak up. Right. You, Stephen's yeah. not going to accomplish everything that God has for him without that, you. Yes, and that and vice versa. that's the truth. And 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 at the same time, it's like yeah. speaking the language that someone hears. That's so good. so yeah. if you were fluent in in Spanish, yo te voy a hablar en español porque no tienes inglés, right? So I'm going to do the Spanish thing. But it's just like so with Phil, I'm going to speak man in yeah, the sense that right. I'm going to speak in a yes. way that he that's hears, so and that's not dishonoring who I am. It's speaking the language that he hears, and so I've learned well, so my well. husband. Right, so that's the part of mutual submission. Exactly. It's like I speak the language that he hears. So instead of me telling him what I think, I often come in because this is him. This is my he husband. I come in and I'll say, "Can I tell you what I think about that?" Yeah, Ooh, right. And then he, he and he goes, "Yeah," because he understands that I'm going to see things he doesn't see. So he goes, "Yes." 
And then he's learned to speak Holly, yeah. right? So he's learned to say things. Like if he would, if he tries to control me, yeah. Ooh, that's so never going to no, work. No, 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 no. Right? So he's learned to go, here's a suggestion or here's two ideas. Which one do you think would be better? Mm. He's learned to speak me. Exactly. Yeah. And so I think that's yeah. that part of, of mutual <laughs> submission is understanding the totally. person that you are married to, yeah. yep. right? Instead of trying to say it how you would say it, yeah. how will they understand you? Yeah, I'm right? really glad that Good. Chris could hear that. I, mean, I, need, I needed that. that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I feel like the Lord the Well, and I, I will say this, I remember one time I had been going to counseling and getting stronger and learning my powers, raised in a, a church that, you know, I was taught that I was, I was in charge of everyone's happiness mm. and they, how they liked me and how they saw me. And so wow. that, of course, Take, took yeah. me to postpartum depression. But long story short, remember one time I had been this modern woman. I watched my mom make my dad dinner and bring him his food. And I wanted to school my mother. And I said, you know, mom, dad has two legs. He can get up and get his own food. <laughs> you did and, not. Oh, I did. <laughs> I said, I'm a modern, wow. I'm this modern you know, yeah. working woman. And my husband and I are a team. And I'm trying to explain to mom team. And my mother and her, you know, southern, she's like a, a California farm girl way, looks at me and she says, Havila, I like doing this for your father. And when she said it, I knew she was saying, I'm still powerful. Mm, I actually have chosen yeah. to do this. So don't, don't, exactly. don't look at wow. my, my submissiveness as a powerlessness. Yeah. There's some women that are watching today that look submissive because they, they feel powerful in that totally. space. I That's love the language. That. That's Does that make beautiful. sense? Yeah. So it's different. It's again, the heart behind the, yes. all the everything that we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And so the language of submission, mm. That's and she does it because he loves it. He's an Italian. He loves the food. Yeah. He loves, that's his language. Yeah. So again, staying powerful, I think, is how we stay submitted. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.